Okay, I'm here at the home of Dan and Darcy Cotton today. Uh, Dan has asked me to come out and, uh, or to uh, give him a proposal for getting rid of the Bermuda here. So I'm uh, doing this video just to get a good perspective on how uh, far the Bermuda has encroached in the lawn. Uh, it's very widespread. Of course, it looks it looks really pretty decent during the summertime, uh, and uh, ultimately, uh, one of these summers. In the near future, it will be a Bermuda lawn because it's it's just that widespread. It's in large areas that are almost uh, solid Bermuda, but then there are, there are areas like this where it's not solid, uh, but it's it's on its way to becoming so. Areas like this. Um, my hope is just to see if there are any areas that uh, have so little Bermuda in them that they could be. Uh, spared or uh, salvaged from um, a procedure where we're um, totally eradicating the lawn. You know, this area here, even it seems to have enough Bermuda in it that we wouldn't want to to spare it from eradication either. And that looks to be the case all the way down throughout the lawn going all the way over to the to the line and the uh, the lawn areas that, that um, are adjacent to the Gibson's property all the way down through here it's, it's getting fuller and thicker with Bermuda each passing year this lower portion of the back lawn is almost entirely Bermuda This is this is the unfortunate state of things right now. There, you know, there are a couple of small areas where there's no Bermuda or not not a, a, a lot of Bermuda. And I hope you can hear this, Dan, because the wind's blowing really hard. But uh, it's such now that the, the whole lawn will have to be eradicated and replaced. It'll have to be removed in place, uh, removed and replaced to reclaim fescue for here. So that's it. I'm signing off.